What's up guys, Cody Sparrow, The Clever Investor here, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you the six things that you can do as a real estate entrepreneur to have more positivity in your life and in your business. Now, I've been very lucky to be able to surround myself with some of the most successful real estate entrepreneurs, marketers, trainers, speakers, coaches, and I've noticed a thing or two. I've studied greatness and I figured out that there are these six things that just about every single one of them have in common and I've created daily habits around them and now after this video, you too are gonna have a lot more positivity in your life and in your real estate business. So pay attention and if you get something from this, smash that like button like a good YouTuber subscriber does. Thank you. All right, let's dive into this. So, some of these are common sense, but I, you know, sometimes it's the simple things in life that we overlook or neglect. So this is your daily reminder. Number one is rest. I see it all the time on social media right now. All these wannabe influencers are saying, hustle hard, work, you know, sacrifice everything, work around the clock 24 seven, never shut off. And I just don't agree with that. I think rest is extremely important. I don't think that you can raise your enthusiasm level uh, at the level that you need. I don't think you can have the intensity and the focus and the drive for long periods of time because you know this business takes long periods of time to achieve the results and, and you gotta have significant rest to be able to do that. So here's what I used to do wrong. I used to have my daily routine in the wrong direction and what I mean by that is I used to sleep in and then you know, work into late at night and stay up really, really late. And then uh, I wouldn't sleep very good because I had work on my brain because I was working into late night or I was playing video games or I was partying or I was doing whatever. And uh, you know, it's just, I wasn't getting significant rest. So my recommendation is flip the model over on its head. Most of my successful friends, they get up early, they have a, you know, we're gonna talk about, uh, you know, having a strong morning routine here in a second, but like they're, they're not night owls. They get, they go to bed at a normal time, they get a solid, you know, seven hours of rest, and then they get up recharged, they do their morning routine, and they hit the day powerfully. So, rest is important. Don't listen to what these bozos on social media are saying. Right. Do you agree with this one or not? Drop me a comment down below with your thoughts on that. All right, number two is, Inputs are important. Your mind and the inputs that you put into it are extremely important. So for instance, are you reading books that are positive entrepreneur or real estate or uh, motivational books? Are you listening to positive podcasts? Or are you, you know, constantly just listening to, you know, hip hop music and whatever type of music that you're into? All right, I'm telling you right now, one of your most uh, one of the most neglected times of the day is your drive times, right? Don't use that downtime to just listen to, you know, music. Use it to listen to audiobooks and positive podcasts and that kind of stuff, all right? Your inputs create your outputs, all right? You guys know this, right? You know this, right? Drop me a comment down below if you agree with that one. All right, number three is writing down your goals. I was horrible at this in the beginning. I just got to be honest with you. I... I, I not a writer, right? And so for me, it, it took me forcing myself to do this. And what it did is it gave me clarity. And when you have clarity, you start to feel better about yourself because you start to feel as you're checking off your to-do list, all right, you start to feel like there's progress and progress equals happiness. All right, and when you feel happiness, you're more enthusiastic to go out there and do it again and stay consistent for a long period of time. So write down your goals. Now here's my goal setting tip, all right? Don't write down a to-do list, and I do this every single night. I do my goal setting for the next day every single night. Don't write down more than five goals for you to do the next day, all right, or five to-dos for the next day. Otherwise, you're gonna get overwhelmed. It's gonna feel like there's you know, this never ending list of things to do and it's you know, overwhelming. So that's the number one complaint of new real estate investors is the feeling of overwhelm. And I would write down five to do's and I would you know, label them A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, E, F, F, yeah, that's five. 
you know what I mean. And I would rank them in order of most important to least important, and I would really focus on the needle movers first, all right? Where a lot of people screw up is they focus on, you know, what color their logo is gonna be, all right? Not important, nobody cares, all right? Focus on the needle movers, making the phone calls, doing the follow-up, writing the offers, going, setting up, you know, appointments and going on appointments, that kind of stuff, all right? So writing down your goals every single day, make that a habit. Number four is surround yourself with like-minded friends, all right? This is the most overused advice on planet Earth, especially on social media nowadays. But when you're hanging around bozos, when you're hanging around people that don't have ambition, if you're hanging around people that don't talk about starting businesses or scaling businesses or making money or side hustles, if you're hanging out with people that are you know, smoking weed and doing drugs and up to no good, you know, shenanigans. I swear to God, I'll pistol whip the next guy that says shenanigans. You're gonna be a friend that's doing shenanigan type things. No, 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 no. If you wanna start every single day off powerfully, if you wanna have a positive mindset, if you wanna dominate your real estate business, you gotta surround yourself with like-minded entrepreneurs. Because what happens is, it, they're gonna start to force you to level up. They're gonna force you to ask better questions. They're gonna force you to look in the mirror and, and take inventory. Why am I neglecting these things? Why am I not playing the game at a very high level? Why am I not writing and doing my to-do list? Why am I not getting significant rest? And all of a sudden you start questioning and that's a good thing. You know, I found that one of the best things that you can ever have as an entrepreneur is curiosity. And if you're not hanging around people that force you to level up your curiosity, then, you know, you're gonna get what you're gonna get, all right? All right, number five is set personal rewards, all right? Every single person watching this video do this, raise your hand, bend over, put your hand back, and pat the back, all right? That's it, congratulations. You're a freaking stud, you got down with your five things on your to-do list, the needle movers, now celebrate. Enjoy the good life. Enjoy the progress. Enjoy the fact that you're accomplishing big things and doing things that other people are neglecting to do. Why are people always beating themselves up? It's totally common to walk around and be like, you're an idiot, you suck. You know, my thing used to be um, uh, fuck face. I used to walk around and be like, oh, you fuck face. And that's literally how I talk to myself. You fuck face, why would you do that? Oh, fuck face. I don't know why I would say that, okay? And sorry for cussing, but that's literally what I used to say underneath my breath like, I don't know, one million times a day. Why do people do that to themselves? What kind of input is that? Is that positive? No, all right? So instead, celebrate. So my mentor, Joseph McClendon III, a good personal friend of mine who just spoke at Clever Summit, uh, he has this thing that he used to do with me and he does it with everybody. And he said, every time you walk into like a building that has those doors that like slide open like this, just walk in like this. As the doors slide open, just walk in and be like, yes, I am here, right? And just celebrate yourself publicly walking in like a boss. And I always thought that was really goofy and kind of funny, but then I started doing it and people would look at me like, damn, you're crazy. But then, you know, they wanted to do it. They secretly wanted to do it. So, you know, hand up. Bend over, pat the back, right? Celebrate. All right. The number six thing to have a positive attitude constantly as a real estate entrepreneur is to have a strong morning routine. All right. I cannot tell you how important this is as an entrepreneur. Like I said earlier, flip your model on its head, get up early, drink some water, you know, have moments of gratefulness, you know, review what your, uh, your daily tasks and your daily goals are. Leave your cell phone away. Don't get on social media. Don't watch the negative news. Go and work out or get active and move and get the blood pumping and change your physical state, right? Those kind of things, all right? Love on your family, make breakfast, take the kids to school, do whatever you're gonna do, but have a strong routine. What does that mean? Routine means you're doing the same thing over a long period of time. It's a habit, all right? And having a strong habit is what makes, you know, and sets the difference between people that are average and people that are absolutely great, all 
all right? I'm telling you right now, winners have positive, strong habits. And it starts with your morning routine. One of my favorite books is by that Admiral dude, I forget his name, uh, but it's Make Your Bed, right? Phenomenal book, if you haven't read it, Google it, it's something about making your bed. Uh, my dad gave it to me, I read it, it's a real short book, I read it, and it's like, damn, this dude's spot on. If you can take control and make your bed every single morning, uh, being a former mil military guy, I resonated with it, but it does make great sense, like take control, make your bed, and if you could do that, then you're already off to a great start. All right, what do you guys think? Hopefully you got something from this. You know, I just got done working out. I'm all jacked up on pre-workout. It's time for me to go to work. Till next time. I'm Cody Sperber, The Clever Investor. Signing off for now. Take care, comb your hair, Spurbs out. Yeah.